All right, good morning, guys. What's up? Just left my little capsule hotel. It's pretty good in there, but it got like real hot and stuffy halfway through the night. A small confined space, so oh well, it'll do. I'm just gonna head down to like just follow Google Maps and head down to train station or subway station and head off to the Tokyo Sky Tree or Tokyo Tower, one or the other. The buildings here are just like so tall. New Zealand standard, they're like pretty big, but they're like small as for like Tokyo standard. Siri says it's uh, like 630 something meters tall. It's like the shortest building I've ever seen in my life. So, not so impressed with the Tokyo Sky Tree at the moment. Kind of shit. I'm just kidding, it's fucking big. 600 something meters tall and an ice skating park. What the hell's that over there? Something that looks weird. It looks like Cromwell has a giant fruit. It looks like Tokyo has a giant pear in the middle of the building. When I go skiing, I do like medium sized jumps in Mount Hart Road. It's like a sheer drop off. That doesn't scare me, but for some reason, this does a wee bit. I just thought of something that made my fear even worse. What if there's an earthquake? Japan had like that magnitude 9 earthquake a couple years ago. And the sky tree's still standing, so... Hope it's all good. Okay, so I was gonna try and avoid this, but... I kind of found it. God damn it. Alright, so I didn't really get lost again. It did take me about an hour to get my SIM card and stuff set up, so I've got like two gigs for the next two days, so shouldn't be running out. Just walking to there, to that temple. It's about a five minute walk from where I am now, and yeah, just gonna check it out. There's a shitload of people around, so I'm not sure if I should keep vlogging the camera out. It's a bit weird. Last week when we had that um, massive, yeah, last week when we had that um, massive dump down in Hakuba where it snowed like a metre in two days, they got um, 20 centimetres in, in Tokyo, which is kind of rare apparently. Apparently it doesn't um, snow in Tokyo that much. This place actually doubles as a homeless shelter during the winter months. Um, not on weekends though, because there's too many tourists on weekends. So that, that back there was the fireplace that they all gather around. I think I found the snake cafe. Pretty sure it's this building, but we'll find out. All right, so I'm just about to have lunch here at this cafe. Yo, so I'm about to hold one there. Can I put him up on my shoulders? This looks so weird. Alright, 
it was a interesting experience. It really freaked me out when like the tongue would like touch a bit back of your neck. That freaked me out a bit. I've always wanted to do that ever since I seen it on Facebook. So now probably. I know what I'm going to do, probably go to Shinjuku, I'd say. The sunset in Japan is like 5 o'clock in winter, so it's getting darker already and it's about 3 o'clock. I don't know where the hell I'm going, eh? I swear to God, the train stations here in Tokyo are built like a maze, eh? I'm not going to be able to find my way back to the right train, I swear to God. So now I'm just going to try, I got the government building, which is like quite tall, I think. In, Shin, in, in Shinjuku. Okay, so Shinjuku didn't really work out. I I went there and found out the building was going to go up was actually closed because it was like five o'clock when I went. I'm not sure where I am now. Not sure where I am now, but I'm a couple stations um, past Tokyo Station. But this is where like a massive arcade is, so I'm gonna have have a go at that. See how it turns out. That's the new plan. So try and find my way around here. All right, I think I found it. It's like six stories high, and it's just arcades and stuff. So the Japanese literally love everything that has to do with anime. I swear to God, eh? Play this. Uh, I don't have to cut. I just got out of it and it's actually super real you're like fighting aliens and weird monsters and shit it's so crazy that, that was so real yeah I saw it on Peter's Instagram because he came here a couple of weeks ago and this is a video of him right now doing it and you might think like it looks stupid, but seriously, when you got those goggles on, you can't see anything but the shit that's jumping out in front of you, and they look they look really scary. So. So that's probably it for tonight. I'm just gonna go back and get on the train now and go back to my capsule hotel. But tomorrow, I, I'm just gonna wake up and just not sure what I'm gonna do. Do stuff around Tokyo, and uh, we'll have to leave for the airport around five o'clock. So, yeah, fly out tomorrow night. It's been real good. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.